Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. This is going to be a different type of video because I believe that if you're suffering from cancer, God wants me to pray a healing prayer over your life. But before I start praying, I want to say this, that John 14 verse 12 through 14, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Some misapply this verse thinking that saying in Jesus' name at the end of a prayer results in God always granting what is asked for. Saying in Jesus' name at the end of a prayer is not a magic formula. Praying in Jesus' name means praying as directed or authorized by him, bringing revelation that flows out of being in his presence, praying with his authority and asking God to act upon our prayers because we come in the name of Jesus. Praying in Jesus' name means that means the same thing as praying according to the will of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Praying in Jesus' name is praying for things that will honor and glorify him. So I believe that God wants me to pray for you. If you're suffering from cancer, God wants me to pray a healing prayer over your life. This will not honor or glorify me, but it will honor and glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for today. Thank you for being our provider. Thank you for being our strength. Almighty God, I come before you, Father, petitioning on behalf of your people, God Almighty. On behalf of those that are hearing my voice right now, God, that are suffering from this affliction of cancer. God Almighty, I come to you, Father, because you are the author and the finisher of faith. Father God, the doctor, Lord Jesus Christ, has given up. But I know that you are a healing God. I know that you are God of life, of power, God Almighty. So I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, right now, God, that your healing hand will be upon your people, God. That Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, that your healing power, Father God, will take hold of cancer right now and dissolve it right now, Jesus. Father God, I pray, Father, that you will restore, oh God Almighty, all that the enemy, all that cancer has taken away, that God, you will restore it right now because you're a God of restoration. You're a God of healing. You're a God of deliverance, Lord Jesus. Father, you see the hurt. You see the pain. And God, you see the suffering. So I call upon you right now, God. And I ask you on their behalf, Father, you said when we come in your name, Father, what Whatever we ask in your name, Father God, anything that's going to glorify you, Father God, they've given up on you, Lord. They've given up hope, Father God. So I ask you right now, Jesus Christ, oh God, that you will restore their faith. You will restore their faith in you, oh God, because I know that you're still in the healing business. I know that you still deliver. I know that you still set free. So God Almighty, I I call upon you and I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will set them free right now from cancer, that you will deliver them right now from cancer, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, our hope is in you, Father Lord Jesus. The doctors have given up. 
oh God Almighty, but our faith is in you. Father, you are the last hope. Oh God, you are the last hope. So I ask you right now, Jesus Christ, that you will move heaven, that you will move earth. Oh God Almighty, that Jesus Christ, your healing angels, Lord God, will come forth, Lord Jesus, in every home, in every direction, God, with every person that is here in this prayer right now, Lord Jesus Christ that your healing angels almighty will come forth God and lay hands and touch and deliver and heal. I ask you right now, Lord God, that you will deliver your people out of darkness, that you will deliver them out of sickness, God. And Father God, because I don't come in my name, because I come in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father God, we're going to name the afflictions of cancer right now. And we're going to command them in your name that they have to flee, that they must leave right now. Bladder cancer brain cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, colon cancer, fallopian tube cancer, head and neck cancer, kidney cancer, leukemia, liver cancer, lung cancer, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, rectal cancer, skin cancer, stomach cancer, testicular cancer, thyroid cancer, uterine cancer, mesothelioma. I speak against you right now and I command you that you must leave this Body, this temple of the Holy Ghost, this temple of the living God, you must flee right now in the name of the Most High God and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. You cannot stay. Father God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you will bind the hand of the devil. That God, every weapon, Father God, that may come up against your people, Lord Jesus Christ, not to believe in your word, not to believe in your healing power, not to believe in who you are, Father God, we bind them, Father. Father, I'm thanking you, Lord Jesus, for delivering Sydney, for delivering Charles. Oh God Almighty, for taking care of Sadie's leukemia. You are the Lord that delivers, the God that heals, the God that provides, and the God that I believe in right now that will make a difference, that will change lives, that will change families' lives, that will create hope, a hope in a God that is still powerful, a God that still stands, a God that is still Till God who sits on high and looks down low that this earth is his footstool. Father God, I pray and I ask you, Lord Jesus, and I'm believing in you, Father God, that you're going to do a great work, that you have done a great work in their lives. Father, so I am thanking you, Father, for the work that you have done. And I'm believing in you, Almighty God, that the power of your healing hand, the power of your healing virtue, God, will flow in their bodies, will flow in their homes, will flow in their minds, that cancer is defeated right now. Father, thank you for who you are. And I thank you for this opportunity, God, that you can use me, Father, that I can be a vessel, a conduit, God Almighty, to bring healing to the hearts and the minds and the bodies of your people. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you honor and glory. You are an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. I want you to believe with me 
that God is going to do a great thing in your life. Just hold on to his unchanging hand because he is still God. Thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.